Hey everybody, Brian here for work to game I hope you're having a good day. I am, so let's talk. So today, two of my worlds collide. This has actually been, I guess, on my radar for a couple days now, and I just really wanted to gather the, as much information about it as I could before just sharing my thoughts. And that is HoloLens, and Final Fantasy XIV. So a tweet went out talking and showing off HoloLens and Final Fantasy XIV running together where the game was running on a laptop screen and then the HoloLens was using augmented reality to display various UI elements all over uh, uh, surrounding the monitor. Now, to be clear, this is just kind of a mock-up or a test or what have you. There doesn't appear to be any official source that this is coming from inside Square Enix more of a hobbyist looking and playing around with HoloLens, more of a hobbyist looking and, and playing around with HoloLens. What was interesting about this and really kind of then, you know, kind of piqued my interest is that obviously uh, we've seen the tweet, you know, people are discussing it. HoloLens is still this, you know, kind of alpha or beta, you know, whatever Microsoft qualifies it. They'll sell you the development kits for a real pretty penny. Oh my God. 3800 or less and that <laughs> for anybody is a lot of money and so a couple people you know have asked especially from watching the video is that well why don't they put the game also in augmented reality why run it on a physical laptop monitor for this example demo proof of concept you know assuming that this is all legit and real what's interesting is that right now especially with the hololens you don't have the visual capability you don't have the resolution and you also have a 35 degree angle of view uh, viewing for this device so turning too far you would lose that visual and you know when you're playing a game like final fantasy that's going to require that level of attention it's just not going to work the technology just is not there today and that's what's really i think interesting and has had my interest in hololens since they announced it is the potential now i hope that we can get to an augmented reality device free world and by device free meaning we don't have to wear a headset or any kind of contact lenses but who knows maybe that is going to be the step before we're able to project holograms into just our daily world and who knows what that cost is going to be like <laughs> and if that's going to happen in our lifetimes but it is this direction that we see that the world is going to be moving right i think the importance and the weight of this is really interesting namely because at my old job i had three monitors that spanned all kinds of information now especially at home you know, I've got a tablet, I've got my phone, I've got my watch, I've got all these d little devices that are all feeding me various bits of information. If we can get into that world in which that I can have all this different information up, viewing, I don't have to have and take up desk space with various monitors to display that information to me. I don't have to worry about overlay after overlay after overlay, especially with a game like Final Fantasy XIV, to display that information to me. I can easily just kind of turn, uh, look my uh, you know eyes to a particular angle, you can come back to the focus of the game. This is great that it's obviously using Final Fantasy XIV. Um, the excitement is there because the game is, the A, it's well recognized enough that people are like, hey, what's going on with it? My immediate hope, my immediate hope was that this was something that was legit and a real project, meaning that, you know, Microsoft and, and uh, Square are working hand in hand with this and while there's not confirmed it has me excited for project scorpio even more to see what they do to see hololens continue to be developed and improved upon and eventually hopefully become something that's com more commercially viable having spent time with vr and spend time with AR. I think AR is the future, not that VR isn't anything special, but just that the ability to see your world and then have that enhanced with various bits of information. And to see that with Final Fantasy, to see just the various different you know UI elements that they he, uh, he or she had displayed up there was quite exciting. That's, <laughs> so there's nothing for you or me to go buy today, but I think this gives us some level of insight as to some of the great ideas people are toying with. I liked what they showed in this prototype demo. Hopefully it's real, but you never know, right? But what else would you like to see? I mean, would you like to see Final Fantasy XIV more in the VR realm or more in the AR realm? Now, VR is commercially available today, but Final Fantasy obviously doesn't support it. It's not really a game built for that. But augmented reality in and of itself, while not obviously commercial viable unless you're, you know, just loaded with all kinds of expendable income and development tools because the game doesn't officially support it, seems like something that I can really 
look forward to that it would enhance obviously the the core aspect of the gameplay while not making it in my mind completely unfair to others as well it's not like a it's going to be a requirement it's going to be an enhancement one that you know ha has me interested the uh the implications of ar you know i've spoken about this before are wide reaching and very very exciting to see what that comes about so as it means for games i think they still have a lot of work to do everybody who's kind of played around with it has stated that that it's really cool it is so exciting and they still have a little bit more work to do so anyway i'm interested in your thoughts is this something that is interesting to you do you care about vr versus ar or do you just want more of what we had today with our uh, 2d two-dimensional monitors etc so i know i'm going to be following this as best as i can i'm going to be you know like please make something like this happen I would love, love, love to have features like this within Final Fantasy XIV and within other other games as well. So, all in all, uh, this just <laughs> this just is too cool uh, not to share with you guys. So, uh, anyway, my name is Brian. This is a work to game. Thanks for watching me uh, get giddy over uh, Hololens and Final Fantasy. My video gaming and my technology worlds just come, you know, come crashing together and it's just, you know, for me, it's just so much, so exciting, so blissful. <laughs> uh, again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Hey, it's me. Thanks so much for watching this video. You should click here to subscribe and here to maybe check out some more of our videos. So again, thanks for watching. We hope you like this video. We hope you subscribe and join our community. Let us know in the comments below what you think, and we'll see you next time. Bye.